Hello, everybody, and welcome to Atheist Sunday School, your one-stop shop for everything Atheist Sunday and school. I'm your host, and this is your other host. Hello, we are the hosts. And I'm today... a voice in the background. What? Yeah. I am a voice yeah, in the background. Yeah, that's a disembodied voice without a name. Yeah. And today, we, really care about it. we, try we to have... It. We try to ignore that disembodied voice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Who you try to these ignore days? a lot of disembodied voices. That's lines. true. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> anyways, we've got Pimp Monk here today with us. Say it. hi. Hi, and that was like synchronized pussy talk right there. Y'all are so into together. I think you two are fucking. Shit, we might be. I mean, only every <laughs> other day. Can I join? <laughs> Yes, there's always room for one more. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of room because I'm a fat dude. <laughs> Thank God I don't have a body. <laughs> yeah. A body. We'll, we'll, like a disembodied we'll make, voice over there can't join in. We'll make the disembodied voice watch. Oh, no. <laughs> disembodied voice has to hold the camera. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, 100 point show. Here's a 100 points question for you. For you. Okay. I have a toaster oven, and you can set a timer on it. How long? <laughs> <laughs> How long does the timer go on my toaster oven? As long as you want it to go. 60 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, oh shit. You didn't even let Pimp Monk guess. Well, he wasn't going to get it. He's never seen my toaster oven. Oh, I've seen your toaster oven. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... Besides Shoot. all those times. All right, well, <laughs> then it's my 100-point show question. Yeah, your what, turn. What language was the book of Job most likely originally written in? Aramaic. What do you think, Pim? Oh, it was definitely written in Spanish. All right, well, uh, <laughs> you get the 100 points, Ruben. Wow. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck yeah. All right, you can redeem your 100 points wherever you're, nothing is available. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, feel free to do with that, but you will. Wow. Yeah. You mean I could redeem those 100 points on the Milwaukee Atheist Patreon or Teespring? No. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> the point of the show is that there aren't any. All right. Pimp, do you have a 100-point show question? I do. Uh, everybody knows that I did a video for Jack McGlynn's channel, which kind of got me recognized on YouTube. What same restaurant chain did I talk about in the video? Wendy's. No. Chick-fil-A. No. Damn. Uh, McDonald's. No. Damn, I tried. Damn, well, what, it was what? Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks. oh, oh man. Fuck Starbucks. Guess you can't say that word now. They're the worst. They're pretty bad, yeah. Oh, well. Well, that was the 100 Point Show. Yep. And we've got some other stuff, I believe. Yes, yes. Uh, so, because it is the start of the month and Patreon uh, rewards are coming through now. Mm. Uh, and, of course, every month we do our T-shirt giveaway. Mm -hmm. Our T-shirt giveaway. Yep. And One that, lucky patron yeah in of the these lucky or, or more range <laughs> will receive a t-shirt based off of random selection yes and to prove that it is random we have a wheel so chris would you do us the honor of spinning that wheel i will spin that wheel you know we have that it's other being wheel spun too. here it goes oh it's making a noise too oh. that's new yeah i heard oh, there that. you go all right uh, so it's the blue say, one. <coughs> the blue one. Uh, is that Dwayne? Yep. Uh, yep. All right. Dwayne wins the shirt. I think he won the last one too. Holy <laughs> shit, Dwayne! You're getting a shirt. Yeah. It's uh, rigged. So we're we're gonna be uh, getting into contact with uh, Dwayne and you know sending him a new one. Yeah, sending him another shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, aside from the t-shirt giveaway we are still also uh we're about a third of the way through our 666 uh you mean demon we're at about 222 dollars yeah about yeah 
uh, a little uh. less. Yeah, so uh, we're about a third of the way to doing a demon summoning. So, you know, yeah. all, all yeah. of uh, Super Chats, all of the Streamlabs tips, however you want, uh, all of those donations go to this fund. Once we get 666, we are going to do a demon summoning. Yep, and it's going to possess Lawrence here, and then Lawrence is going to go find the spirit destiny and use it to bring forth the apocalypse. We can I only hope. where the demon is going to come from. It's going to come from the ass crack of Brett King. Oh, oh. nasty. Wow. Nasty. You know, that would make it worth the, the summoning. Yeah. Now, I know the demon will go on a murder spree, and it probably will take several armed guards or a tank to take down, but it will kill Brett Keane because his ass isn't that big. His ass is pretty big. On, yeah. on road, we didn't discuss the size of the demon. Ma manatees have pretty big asses. Oh, man, you're right. You know, the thing about manatees <laughs> and mermaids. My, my, my manatees. Oh, my God. Okay. So, uh, enough fooling around. Enough of that happy horse shit. We're getting into the serious stuff now. We're finishing first oh Samuel God. today. Yes, we are. We're reading. I am on the show. There is no serious. Come on, guys. <laughs> we're, we're reading chapters 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. And 31. 31. Holy fuck. That, that is five whole chapters. Yeah, we can guys count. practice that. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm glad you've mastered sequential ordering. Thank you. And uh, today the show is brought to you by the number five, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, 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 ah. You guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that Anyways, was pretty I've got bad. The... That was pretty bad. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Don't you should be ashamed of yourself. Your parents are gonna walk away I from you. I think I just got ear cancer <laughs> from yourself. <laughs> yeah, from myself. Um, anyways, I've got the King James version of the Bible. I have the English Standard Version. And uh, Pimp, what version are you using? Uh, some bullshit off the internet. <laughs> Something I went to randomly. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's the NIV. It's like the new the NIV, yeah. Okay. It's probably not the Hawaii. It, it actually but... is the new international version. It, it actually is. I just looked up on the top there. Yep. All right. Uh, so that's good. We also have the some holy scriptures written by some Jews. Uh, <laughs> we, you can't even try anymore. I don't want to try. Uh, and we have the New King James version, <coughs> and we also have the Old Testament. Uh, survey from uh, that's the New Interpreter's Bible, uh, and we have the Oxford Companion to the Bible, and we also have stuff that we know from outside of the <laughs> from outside of these things. Yeah, yeah. no, these I are have the BET version. The what? The BET version of the Bible, like entertainment television version of the Bible. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. that, I didn't get that. I'm glad you explained it to me. <laughs> My favorite version is still the Hawaiian pigeon version, the uh, Jesus book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the Jesus book, that's good. The Jesus book, great book. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll get us started here. Um, this is a short one, only 12 verses in chapter 27. Oh, verse cool. 27. Oh, that is pretty short, yeah. Yeah. Why so, did you give that one to me? Because you don't, you don't get shit, pimp. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, <laughs> Pimps, Pimps, Pimps is shorter. It has 11. Yeah, Pimps is one shorter. <laughs> you know what? You didn't give him shit. You didn't give him any shit. You gave him 11 verses. <laughs> wow. Even when I win. Like, <laughs> Pimp wins harder. <laughs> okay. And David said in his heart, I, oh yeah, uh, at this point, David is like, Sparing Saul over and over again. Yeah, even though Saul tried to kill him repeatedly. Yeah. Yeah. But now Andor has died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um Andor has died. And uh now I think David is gonna start to be a little bit paranoid about all this. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. And David said in his heart, I shall now perish one day by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than that I should speedily escape into the land of the Philistines, and Saul shall despair of me. 
to seek me any more in the coast of Israel, so shall I escape out of his hand. And David arose, and he passed over with the six hundred men that were with him unto Achish, the son of Maok, king of Gath. And David dwelt with Achish at Gath, he and his men, every man in his household, even David with his two wives, Ahinoam, and Ahinoam the Jezreelites. <laughs> the and, Jezreelites, that's good. I, I have uh, just uh, Ahinoam of Jezreel, oh. which is better than Jezreelites. Yeah. Oh, and Abigail the Carmelites, Nabal's wife. <laughs> oh, man. No, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, mine has Nabal's widow, which would make more sense. Oh, well, yeah. now it's Nabal's wife. Yeah, now it's Nabal's wife. I guess there are no widows to King James. Nope. No. They don't exist. Fuck that. <laughs> Never existed. Which is, well, it's going to be pretty interesting because when we get into the New Testament, there's the healing of the widow's son in Nain. So I want to be, uh, it would be pretty interesting to see the, uh, the healing of the the wife's son at Nain. Maybe we'll see that. I doubt we will, but maybe we will. Okay. So, So, and it was told Saul that David was fled to Gath, and he sought no more again for him. And David said unto Achish, If I have not found grace in thine eyes, then let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there. For why should thy servant dwell in the royal city with thee? And then Achish gave him Ziklag that day, wherefore Ziklag pertaineth unto the kings of Judah until this day. What the fuck is, who, or who the fuck is Ziklag? I like his name. <laughs> I think it's uh, location. Is it? That's a good name, gave though. Him... Should write yeah, that I down. guess it is a location. Should write that down it for a like, fantasy setting. Yeah, it does games. sound like a location. Yeah, I'm not gonna look. Yeah, that sounds like a location. It doesn't have a footnote. No, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. And and the time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was a full year and four months. And David and his men went up and invaded the Geshurites and the Gezrites and the Amalekites. Hold on, I, I want I want to point this out. Remember uh, earlier when we were going over the the cities of refuge? Yeah. So at this point, they should already exist. Yes, uh, so why doesn't he go there? Because Saul is the king of Israel. But it's a, it's still a city of refuge. That's where think... you go when somebody wants to kill you. Well, Hold you've on. got to remember at this point Samuel is telling me at this point that the owner of the city where you go when you don't want to be killed wants to kill you? Basically, is the premise that David's in right now? Yeah. He can't even go to the city of refuge yeah, because that's owned by the guy that I, wants to kill him. I understand, but like that's the whole purpose. It is the purpose. He's ruining the purpose. Fucking monarchies. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it has been multiple generations since those were put in place, and Samuel is dead now, officially. Yeah. So, maybe... They've lost their spiritual way. Oh, no. Not their spiritual way. <laughs> yeah. And that option would have been available to David if uh, they would have kept to their good Jewish traditions. <laughs> but instead, they did what was right in their own eyes. Oh, yeah. 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 Of course. Uh, fuck. Geshurites and Gezerites and Amalekites. Those nations were old, the inhabitants of the land, as thou goest to shore, even in the land of Egypt. And David smote the land and left neither man nor... Why is David smiting the land? <laughs> he just got some shit for free from his buddy, and now he's smiting the land and killing people. Smiting is fun. <laughs> I have a uh, strike. I have a tax, so... <laughs> yeah, either way, it's not... But smiting is such a good word, I smite it is. you. It is, it is a great word. Yeah, Smote use that is, more often. is better, because it's the past tense, and it sounds horrible. Yeah, well, 
And David smote the land and left neither man nor woman alive and took away the sheep and the oxen and the asses Why, and the David? camels and the apparel and returned and came to Achish. And Achish said, Whither have ye made a road today? And David said, Against the south of Judah and against the south of Jerahmelites and against the south of the Kenites. And David saved neither man nor woman alive, to bring tidings to Gath, saying, Lest they should tell on us, saying, So did David, and so will be his manner all the while he dwelleth in the country of the Philistines. And Achish believed David, saying, He hath made his people Israel utterly to abhor him. Therefore he shall be my servant forever. So, uh, so David just decides... <coughs> to kill a bunch of people for no apparent reason that I can see. That's it, though. The chapter's done. Yeah, the chapter's done. Uh, for no apparent reason I can see, David decides to kill a bunch of people because they were I, the inhabitants of the land from of old. Which is they had a, a lot of sheep and asses, too, so... I mean, you gotta take the asses. I mean, you have to. Yeah. There's really no way not to, but... It's like why though? I'm still so confused. And then it's he's asses, with... man. Oh, they're talking about donkeys, right? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, <he laughs> take an ass. It's just why? I don't see a possible reason for this. And now Akish is all like, well, okay, I gotta say something. Every time you say Akish, I think of Rikishi from the WWE. Oh my God, Rikishi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, so there is no reason. purpose or reason or rationale. logic. Yeah, there's really nothing. Such was his custom all the while he lived in the country of the Philistines. So, he's so just, he kept doing it? <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps murdering people. All of old. So this is what God wants you to do. Is to, for the entirety of the time that you're living, wherever you're living, you should be killing whoever was there before you. And then you'll be the king. The whole time. And then you'll be king. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that was uh, chapter 27. Thank you, D.B. Cisco. Thank you, D.B. Cisco. Oh, and you won the shirt in case you weren't here for that. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but thank you, D.B. Cisco, for the 666. Six, six. And praise Odin. All fathers might be with you. There's hav malls around here somewhere. I think so, yeah. Yeah, we should oh, yeah. do that. Oh, yeah, Dawn left them here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she wants them back. I think she just left them here. I mean, yeah. whatever, either way. Uh, so, uh, since that was chapter 27, uh, definitely drop a like. Yeah, man, I just got rid of that. Oh, well, here we go. Okay, yeah, definitely drop a like if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Oh, yeah. And we have a night bot in the chat. Yeah, and drop do. tips for these guys, man. They do this shit every week. They deserve it. Give them some motherfucking money. You, wow. you gotta listen to the pimp. You just gotta. He knows what's best. Every time you tip, a laser beam comes out of this uh, Lawrence's nipple. I'm telling you. <laughs> that that's true. Awesome. Should we make that animation? Oh, um, we could. Yeah. We could Good. totally make that animation. Yeah. You should. Single every laser. time someone tips, laser beams coming out your nipples. It might happen during the demon summoning. It might. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder what color they'll be. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so weird. <laughs> All right. Chapter 28. In those days, the Philistines... G and in those days, denoting that this was happening in the past. Long which, in the past. Yeah. Which was the style at the time. It was the style at the time. Uh, in those days, the Philistines gathered their forces for war to fight against Israel. And Achish said to David, Understand that you and your men are to go out with me in the army. David said to Achish, Very well, you shall know what your servant can do. And Achish said to David, Very well, I will make you my bodyguard for life. Wow, that was quick. Mine says, Therefore I will make the keeper of mine head forever. Yeah, that's about right. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, Lawrence, I'm going to make you keeper of my head. I don't want to be keeper of your head. Forever. <laughs> That's, that sounds like a blowjob to me. It does. Uh, which head are you talking about? The dick one. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I just said it sounded like a blowjob. Which head are you talking about? You had to take it all the way. Yes, I did. That fucker ruined a joke real fast. <laughs> yeah. I just, wanna, I just wanna make Lawrence feel really gay. Throw something at that dude right now. Pick up something and throw it at him. Oh, there's some trash over here that we can throw at him. Yeah, throw it at me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now he wants you to throw it at him. Don't do it. Ah, oh, shit. close. That was close. Uh, that was, you were close, man. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is from your um, champagne bottle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways. It wasn't champagne. No, it was Russian wine. White wine. It something. wasn't even Russian wine. Well, wine, it, was it was written in Lithuanian Russian. Lithuanian <laughs> grapes. It was written in that Russian. That were bottled in the UK and distributed Stop it, by Ray. an American company. And that American company wrote the Russian on that bottle. Yep. That's okay. weird, to be fair. Whatever. Uh, now Samuel had died, and all Israel had mourned for him and buried him in Ramah, his own city. And Saul had put the mediums and the necromancers out of the land. So that's kind of weird, because Saul was... I mean, he wasn't a medium or a necromancer, but he was, you know, among the prophets. So it's like in the same realm, right? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, Landon. Landon, thank you for the 666. Thank you, Landon, for your donation. And if, uh, if we happen to be destroyed by an incoming dark matter storm, then... We'll know it was Landon. We'll know it was you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Saul had put the mediums and the necromancers out of the land. The Philistines assembled and came and encamped at Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel, and they encamped at Gilboa. When Saul saw the army of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart trembled greatly. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did not answer him, either by dreams or by Urim, or by prophets. What's Urim? I don't know. Give me that yeah, shit. Urim. Uh, U-R-I-M. Or by prophets. Then Saul said to his servants, Seek out for me a woman who is a medium, that I may go to her and inquire. What a fucking, what a fucking idiot. Wow. He, he, so they, they set up uh, this story where he kicks <laughs> out all the mediums and necromancers. And then he, and then it's like, oh, now I need a medium. And a necromancer who, will who, come. Who would have fucking thunk it? Holy shit. I'm an idiot. Okay, Urum and Thumim. Uh, these two words usually occur together in Numbers 27, 21 and 1 Samuel 28, 6. Only the word Urim occurs. The meaning of the word is not certain, although both are plural in form. They seem to refer to single objects that function as sacred lots and may have been a form of dice, pebble, or sticks. Okay. okay. So these are used to tell fortunes. Yeah. They're like tarot cards. Yeah, something like that. Jewish tarot cards. Yeah, that's just another method of divination. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and his servants said to him, Behold! 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 Close enough. Uh, there is a medium at Endor. Oh my god. Holy at fuck. Endor. Watch out for those fucking Ewoks, man. <laughs> fucking. Holy shit. Those guys can kill. Fully armored stormtroopers. They're <laughs> terrifying little teddy bears. So Saul disguised himself and put on other garments and went, he and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night. And he said, Divine for me by a spirit, and bring for me whomever I shall name to you. The woman said to him, Surely you know what Saul has done, how he has cut off the mediums and the necromancers from the land. Why then are you laying a trap for my life to bring about my death? You know, it's not really that. I don't think that would happen because he, he kicked them out of the land, but they traveled to her. Well, yes, but the earlier rules state that you should kill them whenever you see them. Yeah. Sure, but also those didn't exist when this was written. Yeah, but within the narrative. Within the narrative, yeah. 
I mean, I assume that once these were put into whatever order they were put into, there was at least some light editing that occurred afterwards. I mean, no, definitely, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the narrative. Fuck it. <laughs> Keep going. It's not really a great narrative. <laughs> uh, but Saul swore to her by the Lord, as the Lord lives, no punishment shall come upon you for this thing. That, and, it, okay, so she doesn't know that he's Saul, mm. uh, but he is promising her nothing will happen, and then now she's just kind of going with it. Then the woman said, whom shall I bring up for you? Just no question, no further analysis. Yeah. Just like, oh, well, if, if this, if you, random person, say that nothing will happen to me, I, I must believe you. Oh, I can believe that. Yeah, I can believe that. Yeah. <laughs> He said, bring up Samuel for me. Ooh. Ooh. The dead Samuel. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to, con why wouldn't you try to contact, like, fucking Moses or some shit? If you're looking for, I mean, you know, I know that he knows Samuel. Yeah. But there are certainly people who are smarter than Samuel Within their tradition. Yeah. Sure, but he's just looking for some, some advice from his mentor, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I could, like, go to my third grade English teacher, or I could get advice from Albert Einstein. Right. <laughs> I probably would take Einstein's advice. Yeah, me too. Oh, your third grade teacher is pretty fucking smart. Yeah. Einstein's like, hey... You, you know, I'm real smart and stuff, but I couldn't figure this out. You should ask your third grade teacher. <laughs> I would go to Landon. No. Yeah, we. I think we'd all go to Landon. Let's be honest here. We'd all go Stop to Landon. Oh yeah, Alcyon. The lack uh, of having to perform necromancy to contact Landon is really convenient. Oh yeah, he's, he uh, he said bring up Samuel for me. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out with a loud voice. And the woman said to Saul, why have you deceived me? You are Saul. How? I'm confused as to how she came to this conclusion from that. Uh, <laughs> so would it only work if it was Saul? Apparently? Maybe? The, the king uh, said to her, do not be afraid. What do you see? And the woman said to Saul, I see a god coming up out of the earth. What? Does it really say a god in yours? Yes. Mine says gods. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. <laughs> I thought a god might be bad because, you know, that suggests that there are other gods. Okay. But this hey, is... yours just says that. Okay. So one translation says a god uh, and the other one says gods, plural. Mm -hmm. So... That's interesting. First Samuel 29. Oh, P Pimp, uh, what does yours say in... Um, 13. In w 1 Samuel 29, 13? 13. Yeah. 1 Samuel 29, 13. Does yours say... 29? Is it 28. Oh, 28. 28, 13. Yeah, sorry. Whoops. 28, 13. Up. Yeah. <laughs> does, does Mine you... says the king said to her, don't be afraid. Well, what do you see? The woman said, I see ghostly figure coming up out of the earth. Ghostly, ghostly figure. figure. You know, this uh, this Jewish holy scripture says, I see a godlike being coming up out Dude, of Dude, so much discontinuity. It's not, oh my God, this is the worst yet. Oh my God. That's what? four different interpretations for one single line. I haven't seen it this bad before. Okay. Uh, Translate Elohim the way that fits your theology. <laughs> Is it is it Elohim though? Because I don't think I don't think it. I mean, it might be. There's a I chance know. that it might be. I don't be. have the fucking scroll sitting in front Fuck of me. Fuck it, me lines. neither. Get a scroll. <laughs> we could okay. a scroll. Well, that's interesting. All right, so we don't know if it's a ghost or a godlike being or or a god or, or god or multiple gods. gods. <laughs> it could be anything, really. Uh, I'm gonna write this verse down. I want to look into this. It was an LSD trip, is what it was. Yeah. Oh, shit. It was In, a bunch of psilocybin. The 2813. Uh, holy shit. Oh, yeah, did you add those books onto the wish list? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, so, yeah, wish list is still around. But, anyways, lots of, um, 
Well, okay, lots of confusion here. Well, let's see where the story goes. Maybe we'll figure it out. I'm just going to say, no, we're not going to figure this out because... They didn't. It was confusing, and then the narrative split into four pieces. Yeah, okay. Uh, holy shit. I see a god coming up out of the earth. He said to her, what is his appearance? No. Okay. Um... I saw a god. I saw gods ascending out of the earth, and he said to her, "What form is he of?" Well, that's weird. Gods, and then what form is he of? So maybe this is like a demigod or something. Or but this uh, still angel. says multiple gods. Right, which is weird. This is so weird. Okay. This is the worst it's ever been. Okay. And normally we're confused by like how bad it is in terms of like how mean they are to atheists. Now we're confused because this is lost in translation. This it really is. is. Yeah. Uh, it would be great if we had like originals for this, but <laughs> sadly we do not. Um, okay, let's keep going. So what is his appearance? And she said, an old man is coming up, and he is wrapped in a robe. And Saul knew that it was Samuel, and he bowed with his face to the ground and paid homage. So Wait, what the fuck? That's like me saying, oh, I'm having a vision. Lawrence, Lawrence, I'm having a vision. I see an, an old man, and he's wearing a shirt. <laughs> Do you know who this could be? <laughs> I think it's... He, my my grandfather. Your grandfather. Isn't he still alive? Yes, my oh, great grandfather. Shit. He he's got a some hair on his head. <laughs> hair he's, on his head? He, on his head. He has some sort of maybe keys as a possession. Do you recognize someone with keys, keys? as a possession? Oh my gosh. I'm getting a letter. <laughs> uh, it's it's like maybe an R, maybe a a G, Q, M, A, B, a, B C. What, what does your grandma's first name start with? It's a B. Uh, oh, I, I think, yes, it, it wasn't an R. It was easy to mistake for a B. It, it was a B. <laughs> wow, you're amazing. Yeah, real psychic. Behold. 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 Yeah, okay, Behold. so... Uh, apparently, he just knows that this weird figure, whatever the hell it is, came out of the earth, yeah. and he just knows that it's Samuel, and he specifically asked for Samuel, and the woman said she saw Samuel, and now, and now... Hey, we're over. Uh, it says that Saul perceives it as Samuel. Or, he knows that he, it's Samuel. Yeah. But he doesn't see it, right? So frustrating. It, it said... He, that he has to ask her. Yeah, yeah. And so she's like, I'm having a vision, and I see it. And in response, he literally bows his head to the earth in front of her. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a bit of an overreaction. Yes, okay. I So uh, Rachel says that it is apparently Elohim. So, yeah, <laughs> translate it however the fuck you want, I guess. Yeah, it's just whatever. <gasps> okay. Uh, then Samuel said to Saul, why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? Okay, so disturbing his, his ghost. All right, this is neat. Uh, Saul answered, I am in great distress for the Philistines are... Okay, so this is Saul speaking to this thing. Yeah, Saul's it's not talking the seer. to it's Samuel. Samuel's like, how dare you disturb my slumber? <laughs> And he's like, oh, I'm just so sad. <laughs> Life is hard, man. Uh, uh, I had to kill this guy for no reason. And then he spared my life. Yeah. His life is so difficult being a king. Yeah, it's so hard. I was alive at one point, and I died at a different point, and I'm still alive. I don't know even. I, I, this is so hard, Sam. you got to help us out. The narrative's broken. <laughs> <laughs> He's got evil spirits from the Lord. <laughs> evil spirits. <laughs> I am in great distress, for the Philistines are warring against me, and God has turned away from me and answers me no more, either by prophets or by dreams. Therefore I have summoned you to tell me what I shall do. 
And Samuel said, Why then do you ask me, since the Lord has turned from you and become your enemy? The Lord has done to you as he spoke by me, for the Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor, David, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord and did not carry out his fierce wrath against Amalek. Therefore, the Lord has done this thing to you this day. Moreover, the Lord will give Israel also with you into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow you and your sons shall be with me. The Lord will give the army of Israel also into the land of the Philistines. So God is mad that uh, Saul didn't kill a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And he's going to punish not only him, but all of Israel. Unless David does something about it. <laughs> Let's see if they can stand up to God. They can do it. I believe in them. <laughs> Uh, then Saul fell at once full length on the ground filled with fear because of the words of Samuel and there was no strength in him for he had eaten nothing all that day and all night and the woman came to Saul and when she saw that he was terrified she said to him behold, behold! your servant has obeyed you I have taken my life in my hand and have listened to what you have said to me now therefore you also obey your servant let me set a morsel of bread before you and eat uh, that you may have strength when you go on your way he refused and said i will not eat but his servants together with the woman urged him and he listened to their words so he arose from the earth and sat on the bed now the woman had a fattened calf in the house, and she quickly killed it. That's good. Nice and, nice and quick. Uh, and she took flour and kneaded it and baked unleavened bread of it, and she put it before Saul and his servants, and they ate it. Then they rose and went away that night. Wow. So Necessary information. Necessary information. Uh, so... Uh, Saul was talking to the ghost of Samuel. Yes. <coughs> Samuel tells him, you fucking suck. You deserve this. Yep. Uh, and, you know, Saul's all butthurt about it. But then he decides to eat and then eat. leave. Yep. Okay. Eat your food and fuck off. Yeah. Well, damn, that was, uh... <laughs> a pretty crazy chapter, I think. Yep. Fucking... I like I like ghost stories. I'm a fan. <laughs> and uh, if you're enjoying the stream, share it around. Yeah, share it around. Drop a like, also, because that really helps us. I see 28 viewers. I should see 28 likes. Cause or that... if you just like it, still like it, whatever. Uh, so uh, we are going to get into. Uh, I'm gonna. Do you, do you have Mountain Dew, Chris? No, are we all out of do? Damn, that sucks. I agree. Okay. That's what my dad made you Oh, okay. Makes sense. All right. So, uh, let's get into chapter 29. And, Pimp, I believe you are going to be reading chapter 29 with some of that sexy, holy roller attitude. Praise the Lord, I said. Uh, let's read chapter 29 today. <laughs> The Philistines gathered all their forces to Aphek and Israel, camped by the spring in Jezreel. As the Philistine rulers marched with their units, with their units, they, they grabbed a hold of their dicks and they marched. <laughs> uh, units of hundreds and thousands, David and his men were marching at the real, the rear, not the real, the rear of Akish. I guess I said that right. The commanders hold of up, Philistines. Hold up, hold up, Pimp. We no, got, fuck you. No, go ahead. <laughs> we got another 666 from okay. DB Cisco. Thank you. Thank you, DB Cisco. I Thank said you, you are all gods. Psalm 82. All right, anyways, let's let's go on. <laughs> yes, and interrupt me again, I shall cut your penis off. Whatever. You've got long reach, man. 
<laughs> yeah. The commanders of the Philistines asked, what about these Hebrews? What about these niggas? Akish replied, is, is this not David, who was an officer of Saul, king of Israel? He has already been with me for over a year, and from the day he left Saul until now, I have found no fault in him. Any, you got any thoughts on this so far? Uh, well, it's really weird that he said he found no fault in him, but he was uh, kind of mad at him for just randomly killing people, mm-hmm. and then he made him a servant forever. So he was like, there's nothing wrong with this guy. I mean, he killed, like, a bunch of people, and for that I made him my servant. But he, he, there's, he's a good stand-up dude. Yeah, he's yeah. good at killing people. Great, great, amazing, <laughs> tremendous. It's kind of like something a person really wouldn't say, huh? <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But the Philistine commanders were angry with Akish and said, send the man back that he may return to the place you assigned him. He must not go with us into battle, or he will turn against us during the fighting. How better could he reign his master's favor than by taking the heads of our own men? <laughs> Is it you got anything to say? <laughs> so they're super paranoid about this, I guess. Yeah, they're very, they yeah. Yeah, they, they should be. That makes sense, because he fucking uh, killed... Um... I mean, this is like fucking Hannibal Lecter here, man. <laughs> <laughs> True. Some father beans. Fucking okay. warlord. <laughs> Isn't this David they sing about in, the, in their dances? Saul has slain his thousands and David his tens of thousands. Ah. So, so Ak- yeah, go ahead. So, so people are very uh, keenly aware... That oh. came up before. Yeah, it did, yeah. yeah it came up... Um, a couple times. I think it first came up after he killed Goliath. I, I think it may have been... Or maybe... Yeah, there was war going on around that period. But... Um, well, either way, we've seen... We've, we, yeah, we've seen that before. Let's see uh, if I can find one. I know, I know Saul really didn't like that very much. <laughs> because Saul was, you know... He lost the, the bigger dick contest because <laughs> David <laughs> killed more people. Yeah. Yeah. David was pretty violent. All right. Let's continue. So Akish called David and called him. He called him by, on his cell phone. Yo, what's up, David? <laughs> anyway, he called David and said to him, as surely as the Lord lives, you have been reliable. And I would be pleased to have you serve with me in the army. From the day you came to me until today, I have found no fault in you. But the rulers don't approve of you. Now turn back and go in peace. Do nothing to displease the Philistine rulers. So he was basically like, you know, they don't like you, but I do. Yeah, so just, just don't do anything to piss them off again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, looking back, it is First uh, Samuel 18, 7. Uh, this happens right after David kills Goliath. Okay. It says, um, The woman answered one another as they played and said, Saul hath slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's where it started. 18, 6, okay. or 7, okay. eight, uh-huh. or whatever. I, I said it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but what have I done? As David, what have you found against your servant from the day I came to you until now? Why can't I go and fight against the enemies of my lord, the king? I'm pretty, Akish I'm, answered. I'm pretty okay, sure Akish right. like, literally explained why. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he basically just told you why he asked yeah. <laughs> uh, And so Akish answered, I know that you have been as pleasing in my ears as an angel of God. That sounds really gay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it just does. Yeah. Never, nevertheless, Philistine commanders have said he must not go up with us into battle. Now get up early along with your masters, servants who have come with you and leave the morning as soon as it is light. So David and his men got up early in the morning to go back to the land of the Philistines, and the Philistine went up to Jezreel. Wow. And then, yeah. That's All it. right. So, uh, obviously, the Philistines would reject David 
Because yeah. he fucking, I, I think, uh, fucking uh, Goliath, wasn't he a Philistine? Yeah. yeah. Most of the people. Yeah. By the way, I know it's Philistine, but I like to say Philistine. Philistine, yeah. I mean, that, it's not, it's that so happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, mine is, mine is getting pretty low, so mine is probably going to come off soon. Um, but, anyways, uh, that was uh, chapter 29. Uh, drop a like if you guys are enjoying the stream. Share it around. Uh, it'd be cool to get a bunch of people in here. Uh, so, yeah. yeah that. Once we have our, like, thousands of viewers for our mega church. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lawrence is going to, like, stand up there with a snake, right? Dude, that sounds cool. I'd be, I'd be like, Jake the Snake, dude. Jake this. You're going to change your name to Jake? Well, Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah? Okay. We're all good. Ellis, thank you for the $6.66 donation. Yes, thank you, Ellis. All right, I'm going to go get some new batteries for my thing. But now we are getting into uh, Chapter 30, and uh, looks like we're going to get more of Ziklag. <laughs> oh, great. So my prediction here is that David's going to be just fine. Um, chapter 30. This is a much longer chapter than the previous ones. And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south, and Ziklag, and smitten Ziklag, and burned it with fire, and had taken the women captives that were therein, they slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold! Yeah. Behold! Yeah. Oh. Put up some blank screen there. It, <laughs> where, where Lawrence is supposed to be, here it is again. Yep. <laughs> uh, behold. Alright, so anyways, we got a behold, yes. and where are we? It was burned with fire, and their wives, their sons, and their daughters were taken captives. We're on verse 4. Okay. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. Wow. That's nuts. That's exhausting, man. Uh, and David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam the Jezreelites and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed. For the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people is grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David... So, hold on, hold on, hold on. My, my footnote here uh, for uh, because all the people were... I have uh, because all the people were bitter in soul. Mm -hmm. So my footnote... Uh, says compare with twenty two two, so twenty two two. Yes, uh, and apparently, and everyone who was in distress, and everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was bitter in soul gathered to him. Hmm. Okay, that neat, I guess. That's everyone. <laughs> Great. It sounds like all of America <clears throat> has come together this day. Uh, but David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abiathar brought thither the ephod to David. That is the gayest thing. <laughs> it's just too gay. I, I, can't, I can't not point it out. Wow. Watch, Chris just got us demonetized. Yeah, he got us demonetized. Fucking God damn it, Chris. Chris. You said gay like 12 times on the screen. demonetized. You said gay like 12 times. Oh. Uh, we, mean, we mean happy. It's so happy and lighthearted and feathery. <laughs> My gosh, YouTube algorithm, how could you mistake that? <laughs> it's so happy. Let's continue. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. So David went up, 
David inquired at the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> that, that implies that it's like a location. Well, I have inquired of the Lord. Oh. Yeah. Either way. Okay. So David went. He and the 600 men that were with him. Now, that's that's a lot more than he started with. He had yeah. like 100 before, right? Yeah. Yeah, closer to that. And came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. I assume oh. Bessor means left behind. Uh, I don't have anything on that. Um, well, I'm making an assumption. Okay. If anyone in the audience knows what Bessor means, yeah. tell us. But David pursued he and 400 men, for 200 abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Bessor. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread. And he ate. And they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake with figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his what spirit. Did, what came did your again. mom pack you for lunch? Okay. I what just, did your mom pack you for lunch? Is all I'm thinking here. It's like the Egyptians got this all this stuff. Like here you go. But let's, put, let's trade. Who is this Egyptian? Why are they talking about him? Just some random Egyptian. Just some random Egyptian dude. Found him in the field and they brought him to David. You know we haven't had Egyptians in the story for a while. Yeah, definitely for a while. But it's uh, they just get brought up in why, negative context. Though? Who knows? Oh, okay. Fucking whatever. So his spirit came again to him. For he had eaten this, this no better bread. be fucking important. Otherwise, this was like it's the stupidest. Look thing. how hospitable they are. They take people from where they are and give them stuff to eat. It's like a After really moving them to a different space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it's it's like a really aggressive European household. Yeah. Because <laughs> like usually like, they don't abduct people to yeah, feed them. Like <laughs> your mom wouldn't abduct me to feed me but she would if i not. came over to your house i'm pretty sure she would offer me something to eat yeah yes yeah, any southern mom <laughs> yes yeah, so, uh, i guess southerners too no idea but anyways uh, southern hospitality it does exist yeah if you, if you ring a doorbell in a in south carolina where i lived basically they'll always answer and they'll invite you in for tea basically no matter what it's kind of bizarre that is weird it doesn't matter who you are it's just <laughs> Why is it weird to be nice? We live in Wisconsin. <laughs> I understand Wisconsin. the southern. I lived yeah. in the south for a while, and I understand that it's a lot nicer there. People are really nice there, but we're we're evil here. Yeah. Everyone hates each other. No <laughs> one smiles. That no, smiles forbidden. No one talks to each Nobody other. Nobody talks it's, to each other. Yeah. It sucks People here. don't say like comforting stuff like. Stay How are you safe doing? Is not a question. People are asked in the, a way that is supposed to be responded to, other than I'm fine. The nicest yeah. thing people say in Wisconsin occasionally is don't kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that is pretty nice. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. Uh, I wouldn't say it's, like, necessarily nice, but, like, it's... It's not... I don't know. It's, it's just, not expressively malicious. Right. <laughs> That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. I suppose you could say that people are very cold. Here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, thanks. All right. I, I could have well, done a like cranberries thing. Anyways, yeah, that's a, cran that's even more obscure. Let's, cranberries. Uh, we're the fucking cranberry state. How is it more obscure? I don't know. We're the dairy state. I guess it's no, we're, no, we're not the dairy state. We're the cranberry state. We're the dairy state. California is. I don't give a state. shit what you say. We're the dairy state. Uh, dairy well, state. unfortunately, we were the dairy state. We're America's dairy land. It says it on <laughs> our uh, on our fucking uh, license plate. And how long does it take for government we to say get up to date? Soda, soda in Wisconsin because pop is not the name of the product. <laughs> soda is short for sodium bicarbonate, right? Yeah. 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 Which is what makes it. Fizzy, which is why it's called soda. And the, and the pop was added because it makes a popping noise, originally referred to as soda pop, its own brand. Well, what the fuck doesn't make a popping noise? Uh, Just call it fucking bottle. soda. I wish we had soda. Yeah, me too. Maybe we should go. This is making me sad. <laughs> yeah, we'll get some afterwards. How, what do you say? Yeah. Okay. You know, there are people out there who refer to it all as Coke. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true yeah. too. Yeah, that one's like that's pretty specific. Yeah, we can call them cokeheads. Who calls it Pepsi though? Nobody. Well, that's right. Sad. Damn nobody. Fuck Pepsi. 
Nobody All right. likes Pepsi. Just Mountain Dew, which so, is a Pepsi product. This Egyptian. Uh, Please sponsor us. His spirit came again to him because he had eaten no bread nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom? <laughs> to whom? <laughs> oh my gosh. To whom belongst thou? And whence art thou? And he <laughs> said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite, and my master left me because three days agone I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Cherethites, and upon the coast of which belongeth to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb. And we burned Ziklag with fire. And oh. David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? <laughs> and he said, Swear unto me by God, that thou wilt neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master. And I will bring you down to this company. <coughs> and when he had brought him down, behold! Behold! They were spreading abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because wow. of all the great spoil they'd taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twilight even to the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them, save four hundred young men, which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they had taken of them. David recovered all. And David took all the flocks and the herds, which they drove before all the other cattle and said, This is David's spoil. And David came to 200 men, which were so faint that they could not follow David, whom they made also to abide at the brook Besor. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were there with them. And when David came nearer to the people, he saluted them. A good forehead salute. Yes. Not the Roman just, salute. Just above the eyebrow just, just, just above. wow yeah they, they have like rules on that it has to be like just above oh, the end of the I eyebrow know. it's like the most pretentious it thing is it ever. is it's amongst the most pretentious things for sure yeah um well i can't particularly think of well no no i could let's Someone not go there it's saluted, too pretentious but only with their pinky oh dear <laughs> <laughs> and with an english accent oh yes of course where the fuck was I? I don't uh, know. Okay, First so 22. he just took uh, all the animals, basically. Um, he took everything back. Everything that they had taken. Yeah, but he minus forty the animals. Oh, right, minus right. 400 camels and men who ran away, right? No, it was the, the two. I think he just went back for the 200, didn't he? No, no, no. I'm saying that. No, no. There this were 400 yeah, the David people King. that escaped his wrath. Yeah. Right, okay. There were people who escaped, yeah. This, this is how he, he can keep killing them over and over again. Because people keep escaping. <laughs> it's like fishing. You know, you catch a small one, you pull it in, you take it off the line and you let it get bigger so that you can catch it when it's bigger. <laughs> okay. It's I, true, actually. All right, then. Yeah. You should go fishing more often. <laughs> I, I guess I should. Okay, so proper salute. Then he answered all the wicked men... And men of Belial. Yeah, I have worthless fellows, but that's just... We've kind of learned that that's how it, how it goes. Yeah. Of those that went with David and said, Because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered. Save to every man his wife and his children, that they may lead them away and depart. And then said David, Ye shall not do so. My brethren, with that which the Lord hath given us, who hath persevered, preserved, not persevered, who hath preserved us and delivered the company that came against us into our hand, for who will hearken unto you in this matter? But as his part that goeth down to battle, so shall be his part that part be that tarrieth by the stuff. They shall be part alike. Okay, so everybody gets paid their, their fair share. Yeah, 
You get a share, and, and you, you get, get a, a share. share, and you <laughs> get a share. Everybody gets a share. Woo! And don't it, want a fucking camel. I want a camel. You still don't want a Do camel? You? Yeah. Dude, I've got a weird food list uh, that I'm going to start doing we- eating weird, and I have camel jerky on the list. That sounds That's delicious. Pretty good. I've never had camel, so I have no idea. <laughs> I've had kangaroo jerky, and that is pretty damn good. Yeah. And i got scorpions and crickets and worms, all kind of shit on there. I'm going to start doing this weird food thing. <laughs> yes. All right, so... Uh, and it was so from that day forward that he made a statute and an ordinance for Israel unto this day. I mean, I, the statute is that people get what they get. Uh, Hooray! Yeah. <clears throat> and when David came to Ziklag, he sent the spoil unto the elders of Judah, even to his friends, saying, Behold! 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 A present for you of the spoil of the enemies of the Lord. To them which were in Bethel, and to them which were in South Ramoth, and to them which were in Jatir, and to them which were in Aroer, and them which were in Sipmoth, and to them which were in Eshtemoa, and to them which were in Rakal, and to them which were in the cities of Jeremelites, and to them which were in the cities of the Kenites, and to them which were in Hormon, and to them which were in Korash, and to them that were in Athak, and to them that were in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were wont to haunt. All right. And that's want, W-O-N-T. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, for all the places where David and his men had roamed. Yeah. That makes much more sense. Well, one chapter left. Yep, one chapter left. That was chapter 30. Drop a like if you guys are enjoying the stream. I see 30 viewers. I should see 30 likes because that is how shit works. Uh, and at least 10 tips, God damn it. We're getting I, there. At least 10. Wow. But remember, remember, just as soon as we get that 666, demon summoning, baby. Yeah, we got to engrave a sword. How far are you away from the 666? Ooh, tell them how far we are away. Uh... Well, let's see. Uh, with the donations we received today, uh, we are about a little over 400 away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we uh, got that 66 covered. What? We got that 66 covered in the 200 now. What, what are you talking what? about? Never mind. We oh, have 266, 266. covered. How much do we have covered, Lawrence? Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, no, we are we are almost at a two sixty six. Okay, I was close. I said a little, a little over four hundred away. A little. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. So a little <coughs> under two sixty six. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyways, chapter thirty one. The last chapter of the first book of Samuel. And he's dead, so we really don't... Samuel's been dead for a while. But remember, he made a a fucking appearance. Yeah. Remember, he He made a cameo. Yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, he pulled an Obi-Wan. He he legit came back from the dead and was like, Luke, use the force. (laughs) No, man. Turn off your targeting computers. This is like if the show is named, like after the character and then they kill off the main character and they only have it come on as guest appearances as a ghost every once in a while and they keep the name of the show you mean like how casper was about a kid for a while and then it was about a ghost after the kid fell into a meat grinder (laughs) awesome but no i didn't mean that at all all right anyway chapter 31 now the philistines were fighting against israel and the men of Israel fled before the Philistines and fell slain on Mount Gilboa. And this is after, like, another huge slaughter. Yeah. So, like, they're... David's just been killing it everywhere he goes. So many times. Tens of thousands. It, I mean, it's, like, completely indiscriminate, too. Yeah. It just seems like he's a complete psychopath. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah. Uh, anyways... Uh, and, the Philistines, boy. and the Philistines overtook Saul and his sons, and the Philistines struck down Jonathan, oh no, David's lover, uh, and Abinadab, and Malachi Shua, the sons of Saul. 
the battle pressed hard against Saul, and the archers found him, and he was badly wounded by the archers. Then Saul said to his armor bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through with it, lest these uncircumcised come and thrust me through and mistreat me. So he doesn't want to get killed by anyone who isn't circumcised, I guess, because that's like a bad thing. Yeah, it's really bad. Well, if you fall in battle to your opponent, that means you're lesser than them. Sure, but this is specifically, uh, he's complaining about the fact that they're not circumcised. So I think it's more just like hey, he's a got a bone to pick. Insult, you know. Like, let this goddamn heathen. uncircumcised heathen these these primitives. Yeah, <laughs> because apparently, uh, circumcision isn't like. Yeah, these fucking <laughs> idiots. They don't even kill everyone that they run into. <laughs> these these idiots. They don't cut off parts of baby dicks. Yeah. Fucking dumbasses. <laughs> hey, you know what's fucked up? Dumb to what? The penis has to be partially erect in order to perform the circumcision. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, shit. Doesn't that make everything make sense now? That makes everything a lot worse. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways. Uh, Things you can no longer suppress. But his armor bearer would not, for he feared greatly... Uh, therefore Saul took his own sword and fell upon it. And Oops. when his uh, armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he also fell upon his sword and died with him. Wow! That's like a, that's some Romeo and Juliet <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, there was this whole story that we were not privy to. Uh, th yeah, there must have been something going on between them. There must have been. Must have been. Lawrence... I mean, yeah. why else would he have killed himself immediately? Yeah, it's like, oh, no, Saul. <laughs> yeah, this crazy old fuck who has me carry around his armor. Yep, you're dead now. I guess I have to kill myself, too. But, yeah, uh, so Saul committed suicide. And then his armor bearer killed himself. Yeah, also. Nobody talks about the armor bearer, though, because nobody gives a shit. Uh, and I forget the... You know, he's got his own Holy life. shit, read the next verse. Yeah, okay. read the next verse. Thus Saul died, and his three sons, and his armor bearer, and all his men on the same day together. They all died. All died on the same day. Like, all of them. <laughs> together. All them motherfuckers did. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is a bloody chapter. That's what you three are going to do. If one of you die, the other two has to die. Oh, yeah, I hate yeah. those pacts. Yeah, those pacts suck. <laughs> uh, and so this is the second time Saul has died. Yeah. Let's see if he comes back again. Uh, no, there, there's a, there is. He doesn't come back again, but he does. There is a different account of his death, but we'll get to that. Oh, okay. great. Uh, and when the men of Israel who were on the other side of the valley, uh, and those beyond the Jordan saw that the men of Israel had fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, they abandoned their cities and fled. And the Philistines came and lived in them. You know what? I just noticed. When they talk to Samuel back here, is that the first time that they've had any recognition of any kind of afterlife? Uh, because it hasn't shown up the, the, the go, ghosts haven't shown up ghosts haven't Spirits. shown up so this is like a legitimate spirit of someone after they died being referred to so is that uh being spoken with too being spoken with yeah so he's just hanging out we don't actually have any other hints earlier than this as far as i can remember i mean the mo we get you know references to shoal we get uh, references to Shoal. But nothing like this. Yeah. Yeah. So this is really the only... Uh, you don't even get any kind of afterlife in the Torah. You, you have to wait until you get into the prophets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's continue here. Uh, the next day, when the Philistines came to strip the slain... Strip the slain... They found Saul and his three sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. So they cut off his head 
and stripped off his armor and sent messengers throughout the land of the Philistines to carry the good news to the house of their idols uh, and to the people. They put his armor in the temple of Ashtaroth and they fastened his body to the wall of Beth Shan. But when the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead heard what the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Bethshan, and they came to Jabesh and burned them there. And they took their bones and buried them under the, the tamarisk tree in Jabesh and fasted seven days. <laughs> wow. And after burying those bones, they gained seven prayer experience. Nice. Wait, so they burned the body and the bodies of his son. <laughs> and uh, then they took the bones and buried the bones. But they just burned the bodies, which would have bones in them. But bones they don't burn. They burn off the bones. Yeah, bones take a higher temperature to burn. It's significantly yeah. more difficult. They basically to just fried the meat and deboned them. Yeah. Oh, oh all right. Haven't you ever. Cremation. Cooked? No. You've ne- Wait, what? You've never cooked any meat ever? No. In your life? You've In my life. You cooked chicken and deboned the chicken? I don't do that shit. Wow, Lawrence. You've never. But surely Have you you've know never carved a, ch- a turkey. No, I never learned never how to do any, any of that. that. Wow. I mean, I believe you because you're You're a terrible cook, yeah. Well, also, I'll fucking buy food if I want to eat it. Oh. So you wouldn't... Like, I I, I can, like, prepare food, but I don't cook. So, like, if I said, Lawrence, you have 15 minutes to make me spaghetti with spaghetti sauce. I'll try to figure it out. Oh, great. Would you... (laughs) First, like, reaction be to seek out tomato sauce and tomato paste and other tomato No, nah, Lawrence's first reaction would get uh, some pre-made would spaghetti. You get some ragu? I don't fucking know. You'd probably just go down to fucking Noodles and Company down the street. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, why not? That's I'd probably go to the store and get some marinara. Well, that is an unfortunate and telling statement about Yeah, you don't know how to cook, bro. I mean... Not even having the necessary skills to survive in the I've, least. I've I've baked Look bread. At poor crit- even poor critter says how very <laughs> sad. <laughs> and Rachel says I like my meat raw. Damn right. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know how to cook. And uh, <laughs> that's the show. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was chapter uh, thirty-one, and that was the end of First Samuel. And I should learn how to cook. And uh, yeah, drop Bone drop humans. a like if you guys uh, enjoyed the stream. <laughs> yeah, you should learn how to cook, Lawrence. Yeah, you can get started right now. Go cook me something. I really don't want to. Go to the kitchen. Bitch. Right. Bitch. Make me a sandwich. I, I, see, I can make, a, bitch I can make a dank sandwich, dude. Yeah, okay. he does make good sandwiches. He worked well, at Jimmy John's forever. I was and ever. GM at Jimmy John's forever. Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't. I, I know it's not. Cook. I know it's not cooking. That's why I didn't. That's why I said I couldn't cook. Yeah, it's food okay. preparation. Yeah. Hey, if I um, if I were to say Lawrence, how would you make a chicken noodle soup? Open a what can of candles. <laughs> I don't. I don't fucking know. Wow, I could tell you. Bo- boil some fucking water, I'm guessing, and then That's a good start. throw in some chicken and noodles. You're getting there. You're close. And then some like other stuff to, for the broth. I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's the right steps. Uh, all right. That's the right steps. You figured out how to cook. I guess it wasn't very hard. <laughs> it's good job, Lord. So I'm going to cook. <laughs> you throw in some salt. Ah, yes, salt. I, yeah, I like Maybe salt. Maybe some spices, if think, that's your thing. I think Pimp Monk is face palming here. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to make bread, Lawrence? Yeah. Chicken noodle soup is really easy to make, man. Yeah. So, wait. I, I know. You didn't know okay, that I've you worked... could burn the meat off of, like, a right. chicken wing 
and not burn the bone, but you know how to bake bread. You yeah, worked at Jimmy because John's. I worked at Jimmy John's for a long time as a manager, so I had to bake bread every well, day. Well, there's also, but now Jimmy John's are making homemade bread. Is I mean, way yeah, there, there's a huge difference there. But I also uh, was learned to uh, make uh, bread working at Toppers because we made it fresh there. Yeah. Cool. I don't know how to cook an egg in the microwave. What? Why would you cook an egg in the microwave? That's gross. That does sound I've like never even a heard bad idea. I've never uh, even heard of that. No, it, it, it is gross, but it, it's, it comes out kind of like a weird scrambled egg. Yeah, well, it's I mean, like... how you make bad scrambled eggs. I've made bacon yeah. in the microwave, and it's just like, great, this bacon is not as good as normal Floppy. bacon. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still edible. Yeah, but you cook, you I, cook, actually, I, I don't mind that fucking fast microwave on bacon. It's pretty good. Shit. Someone should invent I that. I think our show's over. I yeah. think our <laughs> show's <laughs> over. Microwaving bacon. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, obviously, drop a like if you enjoyed the stream. Thank you, uh, everyone, for thank watching. Thank you for having me. And, Pimp, thank you so much for joining us. And, Pimp, actually, uh, before we go. Uh, yes, sir. So, you were telling me before the stream that you're about to get your regular channel uh, to have streaming capabilities again. Yes, and which will last for probably a couple of weeks. <laughs> at, at the December, most. I'm supposed to get my channel, my main channel, back December the eighth. So about December the twelfth, I'll lose it again. <laughs> <laughs> Good prediction. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, everyone, go subscribe to Pit Monk. He's uh, awesome. Uh, his his uh, channel Pit Monk X and his channel Pit Monk Live, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Well, screw you guys. They taste good in the microwave. Ah. I bet you never tried it. No, I, I have. No, I, I, I haven't microwaved the eggs. I've oh, the eggs? Cake. Oh, no, I haven't. I microwaved cake, you know, like when you take... The show's Stop it. over. It's talk about it after the okay. show. <laughs> so I want to transition to <laughs> see you next Sunday, and we'll talk after All right. that. So, everybody, we shall see you next Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday.